Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you this card. Now this card, the idea of this card, has come from my card pal Moira for the green card week. Let me just get her card and show you. I should have brought it down but I didn't. So this is her card. She decorated the inside. So I thought I would case it. So I come up with this one on my inside. I didn't decorate the inside. So I'm going to show you how I made it. I did tell Moira I was going to case it, so let's put that there. Now I have got, this is cinnamon cider and it's five and three eighths by five and three eighths. Then I have a piece of um, pale papaya and this measures 11 and 5 eighths by 5 and a quarter. It's going to be that way. I did put the a score line and 5 and a quarter when I got carried away, but that will stick on there. And then we'll score these for the folds. I have the little book inside that is 4 by three and a quarter What's that? No. That's yeah four inches by three and a quarter so if you open up it's six and a half I have these cinnamon cider is three by three then I have pale papaya at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths which sits on there like that. And then I have a piece of white at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And this is going to sit on there. Then I have all these bits of paper, which will measure when we get to stick them down. Oh, and this paper is from the Hello, Friendly Hello collection from the last celebration. So, let's start with the folding. I've got my trimmer. And we're going to get, I'm going to do it this way first. So we want one and, oh no, I have to do it this way, one and five eighths, which is there, which is where, there. And we're going to score that. Then it is three and a Let me do that again. One and five eighths. That's better. And three and a quarter. Then four and seven eighths. And that will give us our three score lines because this is six and a half. 
so then we turn it round and we put it at one and a let me just check this I think it's one and three eighths yeah one and three eighths which is there and we'll put the blade on the f oops the blade on the first score mark I need to stand up for this one and three eighths all right we'll put the blade down on the first score line and we're going to bring it down to the second score line and cut and it needs to be one and three eighths the other side and do the same it's on the third score line and I'm going up I'm only doing it that way because that's the way the blade is and that is all we need the trimmer for well we might need it to trim papers down so now we're going to fold it up fold need this one to go that way and I want them at once so you need a valley the two outer ones as a valley and the middle one as a mountain and then you get your that's you have your fold so I did a mountain the outer ones a valley and the inner one a mountain and then the last score line a mountain and just score them uh, burnish them that is your now this gets stuck on here and it goes right to the edge like that so and I'm going to stick it on now If I can get my glue bottle going. Nope. I always forget to check this before I start filming. Because I haven't made a card for a few days. I think it's been about a week since I made a card. this over and we're going to put this right across the card right on the edge leaving a tiny border at the top now we decorate with our pieces of paper now these ones I thought they'd be too long yeah too long so they need cutting down a bit I'm just going to cut them with the scissors
that's it. So these pieces of paper need to be one and three eighths by one and a quarter. And you just stick that in there. And do the same on this one. And then glue that down. That one looks a bit too small, not happy with that one. I'm going to take that off. Don't worry about that, we'll sort that out in a minute. That one's not it, this one. See, when I made mine, I made it a, um, a card class or craft day and I didn't check to see, I didn't measure all the pieces, I just assumed that um, they'd fit like this. This is how I did it. I didn't measure them when I should have done. And now I just have to cut pieces to fit. Which is no good when you're supposed to be filming. And that bit's too small. Let's try again. Right. That's better. And just a tiny bit off this end. There you are. So let's measure that. So that's one and a quarter by one and three eighths. These, I'm hoping they are one and a half. They are, and just a little bit too long, so I'll measure. So that's five inches by one and a half inches. Perfect. But you're all saying, what is she doing a day? Well, this is how I make cards when I don't have the measurements. That one's too wide. That one do. So I need five inches for this one. Too short now. What's this one? That one's definitely too wide. So it's this one. Right. Oh, 
that's all our long pieces cut up. Now we just need to do this. Did I do these two? No, I, oh, I did this one. This one is covered, so we don't need to do that. Right, this one measures two and a quarter by one and three quarters. Now to do some stamping. Oh no, yeah, got to do some stamping. So we need this and this and I had, oh no, I've got to cut some um, squares to do the corners on this. I'll keep that there. This is our centerpiece, a bit of scrap paper. Now, stamp sets I'm using is very Vassal, and I'm just using this leaf, and then I'm using Honey Bee Home for the three bees and the sentiment Best of Luck. So and I've got pale papaya ink all I'm going to do is stamp that there like that And I want this, and I want to stamp best of luck in the middle. I think I might need to do it in black. Yeah, it's too light in that colour. Finish with that. Let's go to our Black first are fine. I just want to make sure I'm stamping it yeah, straight and right in the middle. There we are. Not rid of that. Now we want a mentor black and have a white because we need to stamp out our butterflies and butterflies bees so we can colour them in and cut them out. Cover that up. Trying to get rid of stuff lying around. 
Right, these butterflies, I've got a yellow alcohol marker and I'm just doing the colour of the butterfly in. Butterfly, I keep calling it a butterfly. I know it's supposed to be black, but never mind. And I've got my black um, stamp and write marker just to. Colour in the black bees, black parts of the bee. I'm going to do his head. One thing, I never use these markers very much. I've got all the colours and I never use them. I've got the very, the light um, daffodil delight and I'm just colouring the wings in the light. Right, let's cut these out. Get the dies. One. Well, obviously, I can. thought I could only cut two out. I thought I only had the I thought one die did both bees but obviously not. Our butterfly is all done. And we'll put these on here with dimensionals when we come to put it together. Right, let's use our trimmer and cut up one and a half inch, no, one and a half inch, yeah.
And then we want one and a half inch that way. So we need two one and a half inch squares, making sure they're both one and a half inch both ways. And then all we do is cut from corner to corner. One. Two. And these we will just sit on here. Just to decorate the front up a bit. Take away the plainness of the white. Don't want to hang in over the edge. Well, my husband and I, we are going to Scotland um, in July. Go and see our oldest daughter, and granddaughters, and great grandsons. I'm getting really excited. And this will sit on there like that with the square on top. I'll put that on last. So let's. Get these sorted. Glue these down. So, the papaya on the cinnamon cider. Wrong way, that way. And then. And then this sits on there. We don't want it too over the edge. And that is that. An easy way to stick that on is just glue the other side of this. That way you don't have any glue sticking out and showing from here. Now this bit needs to go in there like that. So we glue this white bit.
need some dimensionals for these little beads. Right. Just stick them where you think they will look good, probably on a branch. And this one can go anywhere because it's in flying mode. So there is our card for today. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of our cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. So this one is today's card. This one is the one I made before. And then this one is where I cased it from, by Moira Williams. All I can say is thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.